As a wave of coup d'etat continues to sweep through Africa, there are fears that more countries may fall victims to military takeover. The Nigerian military has been categorical that there is no room for coups in Africa's largest democracy. The armed forces have, through the chief of defense staff, assured Nigerians that they have no intention to take over power, pledging instead to defend constitutional democracy. We have observed the spate of coups across the region. We stand by democracy, we will continue to protect and defend democracy as long as we can. It is important that we know that the military tries better during democracies and we will continue to support the President and Commander-in-Chief while we also appreciate him for the support he's giving the armed forces. He's doing everything possi uh, possible to ensure that we get the right support and he has given us the mandate to ensure that we restore peace and tranquility within Nigeria and be ready to support other uh, uh, countries uh, whenever the need arises. Uh, we know the Niger crisis is still ongoing and the armed forces are still ready and willing to take action when given the directives. This is the first time ever that the Conference for Commanders of Joint Task Force is holding. The two-day event is one for comprehensive evaluation of the various military operations across the country, particularly those at the northeast, northwest and north central states, key battlegrounds against terrorism, insurgency and banditry. And the goal is to review the strategies to win the war against terrorists and other criminal elements with a view to making the country safer. And the quest to win the hearts and minds of civilians ranks as top priority. Equally important is the need to engage with the communities we serve. The success of our operations depends not only on our military prowess but also on the trust and support of the local populace. We must strive to build strong relationships with the communities in which we operate listening to their concerns, addressing their grievances and providing them with the security and stability they deserve. By so, we can effectively isolate the adversaries and win the hearts and minds of the people. Enhancing the combat preparedness of Nigerian troops on the front lines and achieving better interagency collaboration within the joint operation forms the areas the conference will focus on for the next two days. Godfrey Eshamogay, Arise News.